I went and I, I met his wife first, and yeah. she said, "Oh, he's not very well." And he went to the bedroom and got him to get up and come. Yeah. And uh, I said, "I've had this phone call, and uh, Edith wants me to tell you that yeah. Tom has taken his own life because he had a very bad prognosis." Yeah. to his cancer that he yeah, had. Yeah. Um, his friend um, Stuart and he that were away at the war together with yeah. other management men yeah. like Tom, uh, Andy Hamilton and they were mates. Yeah. And when they came to visit in management they always went round to Stuart's and they played cards and they met up, you know, and they were f yeah. friends. And so it wasn't surprising really that they asked me to tell him mm -hmm. what had happened. Mm. So... Um, uh, his wife went and got him out of bed, actually, he wasn't mm. very good. And he came through, and uh, I remember very well that uh, how he walked to the cupboard and got his brandy bottle out of mm -hmm. his glass, and he sat down at the end of the kitchen table, and he looked at me and he said, uh, tell me uh, what's happened to Tom, you know, and he said, and I'll tell you in those words which I remember so well, he mm. said, Tom was the gamest bugger I ever knew. Mm -hmm. He, we, some of us wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. He said we were pinned down by the Japanese and we, they were firing at us to right, left and centre. And he said uh, we couldn't go forward because they'd mow us down. If we couldn't go backwards because they'd run after us, which would be worse, they'd shoot us in the back. So we were trying to hold out, you know, and uh, Tom got this bright idea that he'd go back and he went back and back and back into the jungle and made a great big detour around and came up right alongside or behind the Japanese and he threw his hand grenades in and he cleaned up this, we well, didn't really finish it off but it stopped it long enough for them to go forward. Yeah. And yeah, he said, we'll, I'll, and he couldn't ever forget that. Yeah. He said, I'll never forget it. He said, we wouldn't be here today. And he said, of course, we were determined that Tom would get a medal for that and we put in, in for a medal to have it, yeah. for him to have, to the, you know, people. And uh, the first I ever knew was that when he married my cousin, Edie, there was this lovely wedding on in the town hall in Manjimup and Mr. Lou Thompson, who was the president of the RSL in those days, came out onto the stage and he said, I have great honour to bestow on uh, Tom at his wedding day, which was amazing. And we were all sitting back not knowing what was going on. And he came out and he said, they have uh, declared uh, Tom to have a military medal for bravery. Gee. And yet he never told us about it. Nobody's ever told anybody about it. I doubt that his family knows. And it was, I really feel, well, I know how emotional uh, Stuart MacArthur was when he told me the story, mm. you know, so. He was so game, he was brave, all right. He earned that medal, I tell you. He said, we wouldn't be here today to yeah. tell it. 